Hey guys, Todd Huey with Lone Star Boars here. This weekend, Silencer Shop uh, brought out their decibel meter. We're, we are going to do uh, part two on what hogs and animals hear from suppressed rifles. And what we've done, we went on a hog hunt last night, killed a few hogs. We have one of them out here about 30 to 40 yards. Silencer Shop's brought uh, several different suppressors out. We have several different calibers, supersonic ammo, subsonic ammo. And what we're going to do is meter these uh, suppressed rifles at the rifle, and then we're going to give you, from about three foot away from the hog out here, we're going to give you a meter of what the bullet impact sounds like on the hog. And we get questions all the time about if I buy a suppressor and I put it on a subsonic or supersonic rifle, and I come up on a, on a group of hogs or deer or whatever, if I shoot and hit that hog, Am I going to be able to shoot the other 10 hogs that are out there in the field without them running off? And what this was for is not to show you, you know, we didn't do the average on each can. We just did the different ones so you could get an idea. And this is to show you what, what the sound level is and to let you know that these hogs are not just going to sit there after you shoot the first one. Now what, what suppressors will do, one, they, they protect your hearing and anybody else that's out hunting with you, they save your hearing first and foremost. Second is, they're not going to know where this shot's coming from. As you're going to see in this test, the decibel rating is going to be as high or sometimes even higher from the bullet impact. So these other hogs, they're going to run from that noise. And number two, they're going to be confused on where that shot came from. So they're not going to know which way to run. So if you're just out in a purely shoot one hog, meat getting situation, then of course it just saves your ear. But if you're out here doing hog eradication, you're trying to get several hogs in one group, these suppressors are gonna still help you and still provide an advantage. So here we go. LWRC Reaper 308, supersonic ammo, SIG SRD 7.62 titanium thread on. Forty five carbine with the Griffin Revolution forty five. We're shooting plus P plus hollow point ammunition subsonic. Twenty two long rifle, tactical solutions axiom, CCI standard velocity ammunition. LWRC Razorback 6.8 YHM Titanium 30 caliber Phantom Supersonic Hornady 120 grain SSD Ten and a half inch five five six 
with the Griffin Recce 5. AAC MPW with an eight and a half inch barrel, Surefire 300 SPS, subsonic. All right, guys, as you can see from the different readings we got, one of the things that uh, we noticed is if you hit the hogs in, in different areas, depending on if you hit more mu muscle mass or maybe back in the body cavity, it hits a bone, you saw a little bit of difference and fluctuation between the shots and the decibels it got. I hope this was helpful to somebody out there and it showed, you know, you learned something from this experience. I'd like to thank uh, Silencer Shop for bringing out the, the equipment to measure all this and the different cans. Uh, please, if you want to see more videos, go to Silencer Shop's YouTube channel and they have more in depth, averaged out videos of each different one of these cans on different calibers. Um, as always, uh, visit Silencer Shop at silencershop.com. Uh, please comment before, below, ask us any questions. And if you have not subscribed, uh, click here to subscribe on our channel. Thank you.